Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am in beautiful Palm Springs for the weekend and I thought I'd do a really fun what's in my travel toiletry bag. I'm not sure what it is about knowing what's in people's bags but it's always such a fun and interesting video to watch and to know what people carry. These are my must-haves, my necessities that get me through every day that I'm not home, especially during the summertime where it's hot and dry. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned. As always, everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing by hitting that red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, I'm just Naomi Boyer, and let's get to the video. Alright, so I am the type of person that needs a lot of stuff. I do a lot of skincare, there's a lot of stuff I need for my hair. We're women, so we just need a lot of stuff in general, which is so unfair, but anyway. So this is my gigantic toiletry bag right here. I believe I got this from Ulta, but it basically opens up just like this. You can see all the products that I have in here. So first I'm gonna start off with skincare. All right, so the first thing that I have for skincare is this Clinique Fresh Pressed Daily Booster. It has 10% of vitamin C in it, and it just looks like that. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how to use it. So the bottle is pretty small, but it provides seven days of product in here. Um, but that's pretty much gonna provide the most optimal freshness when it comes to the vitamin C that's inside it. If you guys aren't familiar with the vitamin C, this thing is pretty efficient it's going to do its job in seven days it brightens your skin it evens and retexturizes your skin so I have already been using this and I have noticed my face a lot brighter and even the dark spots I have one that's pretty recent um, it's minimized quite a bit from what it used to be and I definitely have a fine line concerns. so vitamin C is really great for that if you have those concerns as well I also have two moisturizers from Clinique. It is the Clinique Smart. One is the Broad Spectrum SPF. This is for the daytime. This is what I'm gonna use today. And then this is the Clinique Smart Night, a moisturizer for nighttime. So basically, I'm just going to mix these two together. So what you would do is, again, you'd peel the foil back, shake it for 15 seconds, and then just pump twice onto your hand and mix it with the moisturizer right here. Now this is going to be great for me being out here in the dry, hot weather in Palm Springs. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these Clinique products, you can visit any Clinique counter at Bloomingdale's. Alright, next thing I have in my travel toiletry bag is a hair cap. So this one I just got from Amazon, but I love it because it's really cute. It has a really cute print on it. It has this plastic covering and then the inside is still like a terry cloth. It's really secure around my head for those days where you just don't want to wash your hair, but you need to take a shower. This is key for me. All right, next are other two products for if you don't want to wash your hair, you're going on day old or two day old hair. I have IGK's dry shampoo, just looks like that. This one is probably my favorite one because it is for, you know, two day, three day old hair. But the best thing about this is that it volumizes your hair. There really is no white cast and I love it. Um, and then to just retexturize my hair, add more volume, I have IGK's Beach Club. So I love the two of these products together. I just love IGK products. Um, they're pretty new to me, but I just love how great the products actually work for my hair. So definitely must haves in my bag. And then for the days that I do want to wash my hair and I need a heat protection because I'm going to style my hair, I have Memory Mist by Way. It just looks like that. If you are styling your hair or applying a lot of heat to your hair, you definitely need to protect it from all the heat by using something like this. This one's also going to remember how you styled your hair so that your hair stays that way for days on end. All right, next I have makeup remover wipes. These are from Neutrogena. I love these ones because I've used them for a really long time. They get the job done, and it just makes taking off your makeup a lot easier. I do still cleanse my face afterwards because you just never take the makeup off just in one swipe. There's always residue left behind. And so the cleanser that I brought with me is the Soy Face Cleanser by Fresh. This one's great because it's really gentle. You're not really stripping away the oils from your skin or just your skin in general. General. And I love this one because it's travel size, but there's still a lot of product in there to keep me for a couple days. So you guys know that I always use a lot of waterproof mascara, and so sometimes cleansers and wipes don't do the trick. So I also have this Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This one is almost like a cleansing oil, but a really, really powerful one. So it's gonna break up all that waterproof stuff. It's also a great first step to cleansing my face. So even before I use the fresh cleanser, I'll just use this all over my face. 
get that mascara off, get all the gunk on my face, and then cleanse with the fresh. And then for all the leftover residue that's in my eyes, if there are still any, I have this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water Cleanser. This one is great for all skin types, but again, because I do use a lot of waterproof mascara, it's really hard to come off, and if I still have some mascara residue left behind, I just take some cotton pads that I also pack in my toiletry bag, and I just soak this on the cotton pad and just leave it on my eye for about 10 seconds and it just gently removes all that makeup off of my eyes. I just like to ensure that I get all the makeup off so that my skin looks its best all the time. I also have this eye cream by Elemis. It is the Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment because you just need some kind of eye treatment whenever you're doing any sort of skincare. This one's pretty thin, it's a serum, so it's nothing too thick, which I like. And then for on-the-go makeup, because I'm on vacation, I'm spending the weekend in Palm Springs, I don't wanna spend too much time doing my makeup, I just wanna do on-the-go makeup. I really like this CC cream by It Cosmetics, and this is also great because it has SPF 50 in it. It just looks like that, a nice travel size tube. And I have the color tan, because I definitely am really tan. All right, next I have this Kopari Lip Glossy. I absolutely love this stuff. It's like a coconut lip gloss slash chapstick. It's going to keep my lips really moisturized and, and I just love how it makes my lips look. Usually I don't like to leave the hotel or the house without any color on my lips because I don't like how my natural lip color looks, but this one actually makes my lip color look nicer than what it is. Um, and so I really love this stuff. I use this stuff all the time. I have about three of these. One in my toiletry bag, one in my purse, and just one at home. And I also have this Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun because I like to be out in the sun, but I also like to take a lot of pictures for my Instagram, and this just helps my skin look nice and bright and glowy and sun-kissed. This is what the bottle looks like. I use deep bronze because I am already dark. But basically, this is my secret when I want to take nice pictures for my skin to look overall radiant and glowy. And then, of course, you have to have perfume. I love feeling nice and light and fresh, but still floral and a little bit of sweet. This is Mojave Ghost by Byredo. I got this one at Barney's, and I can't get enough of this stuff ever since I got it. I'm almost like halfway down. Um, but it smells really really good and it's nothing too heavy for this kind of like a weekend getaway I also have my Hollywood fashion tape just in case you never know what slip-ups or mishaps you may have some outfit fixes that you may need maybe a friend might need this and so I always have this handy in my bag I have really bad eyes I'm not sure if you guys know I'm practically blind and so I use contacts and so this is always for sure in my bag because I need to see and then another thing that I always must have, just in case, in case I have any blisters or anything like that, I have some band-aids. Again, I feel like you can never not have band-aids because you never know what you might need them for. Again, a friend might get hurt, a girlfriend might get some blisters from her heels, and so band-aids are always in my bag and super handy. And then because I get oily throughout the day and I don't like having that oily look, I always carry these clean and clear oil absorbing sheets they just look like that and they're nice and tiny I can just still fit them in my clutch they just look like that these absorb oil really really well and I forgot to mention when I'm just laying by the pool maybe I don't want to put makeup on maybe I want to conceal some of the darkness I just apply some of this benefit color corrector this one's a brightening concealer type of color corrector and this one's just good because as I mentioned earlier I like having a bright face and I also love having a bright under eye. So I can just throw that on under my eyes, lay the pool, and feel good. All right, second to last thing, I have a teasing brush because you never know, you might just need to tease your hair a little more. This also helps with styling. Um, it has this like pointy stick at the end. This one is by Paul Mitchell. And then last but not least, I have my chewable Pepsid Complete because you never know what might happen. You never know who may need Pepsid, who has a tummy ache or anything like that, but I just like to be safe. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let you guys in a little bit on what I carry in my toiletry bag, what gets me through my weekend days or my little getaways or vacation. And maybe this will give you guys some ideas on what you should bring on your next getaway. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna see more like this. 
Again, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. If you've made it this far into the video and you still have not, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any new videos like this. Follow me on Instagram. I'm just Naomi Boyer and I'll see you in my next video.